Kuei Tatsui everyone and welcome to Extinct Breaks Originals and for this very special episode we will be featuring the Lego Custom Hungarian Horntail from Harry Potter series. Hey there everyone this is part 2 of our Wyvern Dragon Hungarian Horntail from Harry Potter. This is it guys so here's the finished product for you all and uh, like I said today is um, Chinese New Year and Kung Hei Fat Choi to all our Chinese friends out there and uh, this is actually dedicated to all you guys alright so TV here will be back later on for some size comparisons but for now let's have a closer look on our Hungarian horn tail from Harry Potter so like I said today is the Chinese New Year of the Year of the Dragon the wooden dragon to be specific that is why I actually made a dragon based off from the Harry Potter series it's colored um, in a way that is very wooden so it's brown black and you know some other earth tones to it so that's why I made a Hungarian horn tail so um, the the logo company actually did several versions of the Hungarian horn tail here's one photo of it another one over here and this one as well so all three versions are actually really good i like the first one to be honest because it's technically a figure it's not an moc which is uh, somewhere around my wheelhouse that is why i actually like it but however you know the simplicity is there but the details to really identify that it is the hungarian horn tail could be more you know um more incorporated into the figure well, let's now have a closer look on our figure, shall we? So, as it is actually based off from the real movie, uh, I wanted it to have that more um, accurate feel to it. So, the Hungarian horn tail, technically it's a wyvern, um, has these two large wings that can be used as, you know, um, uh, has a quadrupedal pose for our uh, dragon wyvern over here and it has two you know strong legs at the back and it has this long tail with a uh, club or a thagomizer thingy on the uh, on the end of the tail and it has this very elaborate you know design on the head it has several spikes on the head protruding uh, from the face going towards the forehead the um uh, on top of the eyes here and of course on the nape of the creature like so it's like i said it's colored um with different tones of browns and also black and some grays on it so the wings here have some details of uh, chipping it's like a moth eaten you know um kind of thing which is also uh, seen in the um actual dragon of uh, Harry Potter. It also has this uh, two uh, a singular claws on each of the wings like uh, these are also uh, articulated like so. Now in terms of articulation uh, of course our wyvern here can can open and close its mouth open uh, up to this extent and of course close and it has a lot of movement on the neck area and also here on the base of the neck to um, for it to have you know a ton of poses to it of course the body is static however the legs can move the tail can move in three different sections and of course more importantly the wings actually can fold but you must be wondering if the wings can actually you know um, spread out in part one and if you haven't seen it uh, I actually showed you guys how it was actually um, uh, how it actually works so you can see here that the design here has a ratchet joint on um, uh, on its base so it has several you know um, articulation points to it you know you can twist it you can put it up and down like so uh, it has this articulation on the claw so you can fold it up until here so it disappears while it um, while it what do you call that what while it is in flight and then of course the wings can either be folded like so you can see here a stud receptor over here and a stud here which you can attach it like so 
and then it also can be attached on its um, uh, flying pose see so you can also do that on the other side of the wing and here you go so it has this uh, wings all spread out and then of course you can also stretch the legs up until this point so that it looks like it's actually flying and yeah so that's it for our uh, dragon guys the closer look at our wyvern hungarian horntail a lot of details of course it has uh several recept receptors on the bottom and also studs here on the back so that you can probably attach a harry potter figure here which i don't have uh, but here we have here eb which we can actually put it here like so Mm -hmm. So he can ride a dragon and you can actually put a stand on this one as well. And that's it for the clo closer look guys. Let's now move on to the next portion of the video. Moving on to size comparisons. And Evie here is back for some size comparisons and we'll be comparing our Hungarian horn tail with some of our Chinese dinosaurs or those that are discovered from China um, and we'll be starting with the smallest one that I have I guess so this is Lysitacosaurus okay so I'm just going to focus here so it has this uh, really cute details to it it also has some quills on the back and um, you know um, it attaches to base plate as well and has articulations on the legs and also on the head oops <laughs> sorry about that uh, but you know uh, a small creature like this could be you know could be rendered uh, perfectly even without the articulation so i'll probably redo this and make several because this taxorus is actually one of those features that i'm most you know i'm um, uh, uh, excited for and one of my favorites as well under the cell adoption family so here it is compared to our dragon and uh, as you can see here it's definitely very small um, compared to our uh, wyvern here. Uh, let's now compare with another dragon. <laughs> this is our Guanlong, a Guanlong dragon. So I think the name translates to uh, dragon from Guanlong. So um, it has, uh, it is actually quite large, uh, to be honest, compared to our uh, figure here, but nonetheless, it's uh, still a good figure. I like the details and the coloration of this one. I think it's based on from a video game, which I forgot. But yeah, so it's a really cool design and uh, one of those that I actually, uh, one of my favorite smaller, you know, figures that I have. So if you haven't seen my, uh, my one long yet guys so please check out the video i'm going to put out the links below another one from china would be this one this is the kurito raptor and this is based off from the prehistoric planet a special um uh, uh figure as you can see here it's uh it doesn't have a lot of uh, movement to it um it's a pretty static figure but i really like the design on this one it has a really beautiful coloration of the feathers and you know the it does uh, look very similar to that of the tv show um uh Corito raptor and along with the Corito raptor from from that uh, tv uh, or uh, documentary would be this one so this one is quite large so I'm just bringing back the uh, dragon here a, a little bit. This is the uh, Quintus Quintosaurus and the Quintosaurus is seen you know hunting the Corito Raptor in the series and he was able to uh, find and catch one I guess and um, uh, this one also has a very simple design but a really you know a striking as well because it has this dark coloration on the head and um, tiger stripes on uh, on the rest of the body right so another one from china would be the uh tuojangosaurus so this is my version of the tuojangosaurus i i believe i uh 
I patterned uh, the overall look of this one based off from the um, Jurassic World Alive uh, coloration. I really like how it's actually purplish blue, purplish blue gray in color, and then you know uh, maroon details on the rest of the body and some blue striking colors on the face. So it's a really good design. So that's why I, I, I made this one and. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen my uh, Tungjangosaurus video guys, please check it out. It's one uh, that I was excited for because that is where I actually figured out how I'm going to do the rest of my Stegosaurus. And uh, we'll be doing, you know, several reconstructions or remakes of other Stegosaurus that I have. So watch out for it guys. Uh, another one would be the Beijing Long. And here it is guys. So this is one of the uh, bigger, you know, um, bigger um, ornithomimids uh, that uh, that was ever discovered. Of course, the biggest one was um, what do you call that? Yeah, I remembered. That is the Dinosaurus. So thanks, Ibito Universe, for reminding me. <laughs> So this one as well is one of my favorites. Uh, it has a uh, really good design to it. The, the feathers are, you know, are, are, are remarkable in this one. Feathers on top, feathers all over actually. And um, yeah, so uh, you can see that it's quite taller than our uh, dragon here. Uh, even, if, even if the dragon is already you know, uh, on, on its whole force. Well, of course, the dragon could be uh, much taller if it's you no know, rearing up or something like that. Uh, another one would be from well, from China would be this one. This is the uh, Chintosaurus. So it's very Chinese in name, right? Chintao, <laughs> Chintosaurus, and um, this has undergone some you know some changes to it, especially the head. Um, the the previous head was quite. Uh, wonky so I figured hey since I'm doing another habitual from, from from one of my previous videos I would probably also do this one as well so here is our Chinto Flores Habitual from China and lastly would be the Tarbosaurus and this one we see in my um, uh, my collection of uh, Cretaceous uh, series uh, this is the Tarbosaurus from that movie, from, from that um, series. Now, the Tarbosaurus here could be much larger than it is. It could be smaller because, you know, I'm just uh, basing, basing it off on the uh, Capitation series. So that's why it's so big and it looks really colorful. <laughs> but nonetheless, you know, um, uh, it's also from China. And um, here it is compared to our white much definitely this is a much larger figure compared to this one especially in size and bulk of its body well that's it for our uh, size comparisons guys i hope you enjoyed it one let's now move on to the next portion of the video and this is extinct species record we have here all the creatures that i've shown you here so far on this uh, video and if you do have other suggestions of other creatures that you'd like to see here on uh, extinct rigs, then please comment them down below. It could be uh, a monster of, of monster verse, or it could be, you know, um, some other creature from uh, a particular TV series or movie. Then just feel free to, you know, comment them, and I'll try to, you know, see and if that would actually be uh, th that would actually fit on my uh, current collection. Well, let's now have our, uh, what, but wait, um, Evie here would like to remind you guys that all of these years are actually available on our Steam Prince playlist, but I'll also be placing individual links of all of these years, so that you won't have to go through all of those videos, but you know, taking the adventure with me uh, and coursing through uh, a lot of my customs would really help the channel as well. Well, let's start our um, Extinct Rigs PC Rock Call. This is our Extinct Rigs uh, Chintosaurus, our Extinct Rigs uh, Bayesian Long, our Extinct Rigs Prehistoric Planet um, Chintosaurus, our Extinct Rigs version of the Cetacosaurus, our Extinct Rigs version of the Guan Long, our Extinct Rigs version of the Jurassic World Camphorosaurus Starbosaurus, our Extinct Rigs version of the Prehistoric Planet 
um, Corito Raptor and our Extreme Page Jurassic World Alive version of the Tultrangosaurus. And uh, that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. And um, uh, let me just put take uh, our um, Hungarian horn tail here. Uh, and uh, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that particular video. Please also watch the part one of this. Uh, that is the tutorial on how I actually made this particular dragon. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Also, please consider to you know uh, like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be aware of all that's happening here on my channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, happy Chinese New Year, Year of the Wooden Dragon. Good night, bye, bye, everyone. Also, please don't forget to other channels. Show universe, the adventures of our adventure, and to my kitchen, please watch their videos and support the channel by subscribing. And as we always would say, you know, Dino Break Roar! Thank you everyone and bye!